Hi, you're watching Colsky Drone. Today we're going to review the RD20 or the Tello Clone. Hi, welcome back. Today we have the real AC or real ACC R20 drone or Tello Lookalike, as a lot of people are calling it. I love it. I think it's a fantastic little drone. Uh, this is one of the best little drones I've flown. It was, I'm not sure, I can't remember the price, under £40, I know that. Came with the controller, the drone itself, and set of prop guards. Prop guards are the only things I don't like. They don't actually seem to fit very well, or I can't make them fit very well. They're supposed to clip into there, and the little hole there, but when you try and push them in, they just keep falling off. And when they d you do get one to stay on, like that, it's on there, it just keeps, it just keeps falling out. It's not the best fit ever. So, I don't recommend use prop using prop guards. Uh, or if you do use them, try, maybe try and warm them up with a bit of hot water. I think they're a bit too stiff. So this is a drone. This is the controller. The controller is very much like what people are seem to be moving towards now. It's like an E58 and a lot of other stuff. So you've got auto takeoff, auto land, they trim buttons, you've got throttle, your in other words spin the craft, you've got forwards and backwards and you've got left and right roll. Um, it's mode two and then on the top you've got a rates button, a 360 flip button and you've got your headless modes. So it costs around 40 quid, a little bit less I think and it is one of the most stable little drones I've flown. I haven't flown a Tello. Um, I haven't flown one and it hasn't got image stabilised camera. But this thing rocks. If you put it in speed mode 3, it's a little bit too fast. The yaws are horrendous. Uh, so I, I recommend flying this on 2. And it's just a really nice balance on 2 outside. Indoor flight on 1, you can fly it indoors. The video I'm going to show you at the bottom of the screen in the little that we're showing up shortly is flown indoors because the wind's up and down like in the minute every time we go outside it starts to get breezy again so I'm just going to show you flying inside and you can get an idea of what it's how stable it is and also how good the picture quality is coming through the app so moving on to the app let's just turn the drone on and the controller and to bind the drone and the controller is a simple simple as normal up and down and they bound so there you go you got two LEDs on the front and you've got a little LED underneath so the app is let's just connect to the Wi-Fi the so Wi-Fi setting you want to look for when you're setting it up on the app is HTS DD5 CE9 on mine so HTS is what you're looking for so we're connecting that up we're connected and the app is HTS UFO so if you look at HTS UFO that's the app you want to get so it should look like that when you start it up hit the enter button and it should connect there you go we're in and you can see there's a little bit latency but it's not too bad at all it really is quite surprising how nice this thing is so that's your app. The app's a really standard app. So you've got photo, video, you've got photo, video, way to you save files, let's get rid of that. You've got, so you can fly it like a gyro. You can fly it with your phone and not use the controller at all. I hate that, but you can do that. Headless mode and your rates mode. So I just tend to fly obviously with that off and just have, have it at this my screen. I actually do like the camera on this one. It's really nice. So that's the app. So underneath you've got there's no sensors under this. It looks like it has but it hasn't. It's got a decent little bit of weight about it. And it is really nice. You can fly this in. It's a bit too windy at the minute. Oh it's up and down breezy. So in about five miles an hour, this thing's absolutely fantastic. It'll fly absolutely fine. When there's no wind, it's just going to fly like you're going to see. You've probably seen down below. It flies that well. It's that smooth. 
there's a lot of reviews on this and when I ordered mine there's already quite a few reviews out and I thought I wonder if it is really that good it blew me away for the price of the drone it's absolutely fantastic it really is fantastic drone it'll hold its position so if you get in trouble when you're flying it let go of your sticks because the altitude holds that good so if you're flying it and you're getting a bit of problems when you're a beginner let go of your sticks it'll just hold itself there don't panic just let go of the sticks and try and land it great beginner's drone in the slow modes when you turn it up a bit it's fun for everybody to fly i really enjoyed flying this i thought it was a fantastic little thing to fly the camera's tiltable which is always a bonus on these it doesn't go all the way down and it only goes to level um, but it's, fun, it's fine for me it's quite wide angled as well I don't know how wide angled it is but it's not bad at all compared to a lot of these mini drones it's obviously got brushed motors but they are really nice brushed motors and I believe if you take the bottom off you can replace the motors if you needed to I haven't done that but I believe it's not that hard to do the only thing I don't like about these controllers is this so that's where your phone goes in so let's see if it does what it normally does on me oh fine this time oh there you go so it's tried to turn my phone off which is what it does sometimes it actually does turn it off though and that's how it holds in there but yeah it's put my phone to sleep again it's actually shut it down now so hence why I don't like these holders I don't think they're brilliant I think the ones that wear they go on the top are much better or the one that I uh, reviewed the other day, the Idea 7, where you pull the arms out at the bottom and the phone clips in. Fantastic, it's one of the best controllers I've used and it feels so nice. This is a nice feeling controller and the sticks feel really good. The resolution feels good on the sticks for a toy grade. Because it is a toy grade after all. But so's Tello. Sorry about that, just caught the camera. So yeah, it is a toy grade. But it's a decent toy grade. And for the money, you can't really go wrong. Uh, like I say, when I review things, I'm only probably going to show you, the, you're not going to get many shockers on this channel where I show you something that's awful, because if it's really bad, I won't show it. So, I'm not paid to do these. This is my money that's bought of this, so I'm telling you the, I'm telling you what I think. I won't, if, if something's bad, I will review it and tell you it's bad. This is superb. This is definitely worth the money all day long. There's loads and loads and loads of videos on YouTube. Go watch them. You see how stable this thing is and how nice it flies. And it really is, for a beginner's drone, fantastic. And unfortunately, Christmas is coming up. Um, <laughs> and this is going to be a decent thing if you wanted to get your kid into quads at Christmas. Or if you just want to get someone you know who fancies a quad. For the money, you can't go wrong. You can buy it from various places. Sell it all over eBay. Banggood, I got mine from... Um, but yeah, it's good. So, thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. And thanks for subscribing and thanks for all your support. If you haven't subscribed, please do consider it. It means a lot to me. Have a fantastic day.